welcome back to these lessons. I hope uh, you're learning a lot, and I hope uh, you're getting the hang of this see-out statement. Or you might even have it mastered by now. And uh, we're getting the hang of making variables and assigning variables here. Well, today, I want to clear all this. And I want to just narrow it down to one variable here. Now, I only want to go over some naming conventions, so hopefully this video will be short and sweet. So, when we name our variables here, do not name it a C++ keyword. Now, keep in mind that a C++ keyword is a, um, any word that lights up in blue when you type it. In this case, int is a keyword, using is a keyword, namespace is a keyword, include with the pound sign is considered a keyword, and return is a keyword. Just There's a, there's a lot of keywords in C++ here. So for instance here, I'm going to show you another one here. Don't call an a int, don't give it the name new, because new is a keyword and there's going to be some problems here. Do not give a keyword the name return. Return is a keyword here, and there could be some confusion. It's not good. I, in fact, since uh, we're going to do naming conventions here, I have never given a uh, a variable the name of a keyword here because I've never done that. I'm going to give it a try and see what happens here. Let's just see what happens here. That way, we can see what we do not do. So don't do this. Don't give a name a C word here. And there's some problems here. Okay, let's try another word here. What if I gave it another name called um... Even here now, it's just a keyword here. Hmm, it seems like it's working, doesn't it? Uh -huh, it worked that time. But don't do it. This is bad practice. Don't give anything. Don't give these. Don't give those uh, variables keywords here. Let me try another one here. Yeah, it's gonna have all kinds of problems. Uh. <laughs> okay. So, rule number one: when you name these variables here. Try not to, uh, or just don't. If the word lights up in blue, that name is already taken. You cannot use that name. But apples is not a keyword. Is a keyword here, so we can call our variable apples. And uh, and that's what we have so far for what we do not do. So make sure when you give your variable a name. Just don't make sure it doesn't light up in blue because that name will already be taken. Here. Let's try one more here. Sometimes they work. We saw. Yep, yeah, it's, it's already going to have a problem here. And uh, <clears throat> that's what we know so far. Do not name variables key words. And keep in mind that a C++ keyword is a uh, word that lights up in blue. And I'm making a big deal out of C++ keywords and I will tell you why later on. And um, in fact, when we get to our uh, game tutorials or our so or software tutorials where we're moving pictures around here, that's going to be the first thing I explain to you is the importance of the keywords. But that's way later, but this is now, so let's stay focused. The other thing I want to tell you about is do not name a variable twice here. So if I make an apples, if I make a variable apples here, I set it equal to 19, I do not want to make apples again. I'm not going to make another variable with the same exact name. What will happen if I do this here? Well, I don't see any red squiggly, so that looks fine. Well, it's not fine. It says there are build apples. And notice if we look at this error here, it says redefinition. 
that means we're redefining it we're not allowed to do that that's the builder so <clears throat> don't declare a variable twice just give it a different name so we, we only need to declare a variable once here so <clears throat> that's the uh, that's the importance here and sometimes it might help to give your variables useful names depending on the situation but that's more of advice and that's more advice from me but I really don't I want to teach you the language of C++ not just give you advice on what you should and shouldn't do I'm more concerned about what you can and cannot do since we're starting to become programmers here we can do whatever we want because we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of freedom here and we're gonna have a lot of creativity at our hands as we progress through the videos here so this was a short and sweet video and I just wanted to clarify that in the next tutorial we are going to be going over a different variable type other than just int so <clears throat> moving on